I always get confused when I see similar comments to this where people are like, well, somebody told me I couldn't be this and somebody told me I couldn't be that. And so now I just don't know what I am and I'm abandoning the whole fat liberation movement altogether. I just, it's not that people are telling you that you can't label yourself as something. Like if you feel comfortable identifying as something, that is your business. That's such an, oh my God, dude, that's such an irrelevant point, bro. Because look, we know there's issues in the plus size community, dude. It, it's the, the titles you guys use are way too ambiguous. Plus size, mid size, super fat, ultra fat, thick, a little extra BBW. Like these titles are meaningless because they don't actually mean anything in particular. You guys will use thick and you will use BBW interchangeably. You guys will use plus size when referring to somebody that's 450 pounds. I don't know what these mean anymore. So when you say things like, oh, I'm mid-size, but you're referring to somebody that's 250, but somebody can also identify as mid-size if they're like 170, but look a little bit fatter. I want to know what you mean. I genuinely have to know why these titles are being used. And if your explanation for that is you can identify with things however you want to, that doesn't actually solve the problem. You're actually just, you're all you're doing is fueling the fire of people going, what do these things mean? You're not actually giving an answer. The, 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 it should not be, no, refer to whatever you want to. That's like somebody going, oh, what is the difference between a chair and and a table and you go well they're pretty interchangeable you could just do them whatever you could just say whatever one you want like however you feel like you should identify those things what the fuck you're not actually answering the question dude tell me what these things mean otherwise they're meaningless that's why one of the reasons why people don't like fuck with these like established terms because they don't mean anything your your whole entire like your whole entire like ideology binges on the fact that you have titles so but when we're talking about access to clothing, access to public spaces, things like that, there are very defined categories. If you wear a size, I would say... Tip you, listen, dude, I need... There is no... I would say I'm probably going to need an accurate statement here, dude, because this is like your entire thing. Typically, it's like 16 and below. I know some brands only go up to like a 12 or a 14 or something. And it's like very ambiguous, too, depending on where you go. Because if you go to like Torrid and their sizes are different compared to like JCPenney or TJ Maxx or fucking Marshalls or Macy's, like these are very different places, bro. And it's like very weird how these sizes are arranged. Some places don't even sell sizes upwards of 10 or 15. So so when you say like, oh yeah, you know, four, size 16 in this place, size 16 in this place, like you got to be specific, dude. Like, I just wish these people would have like a set in stone way of describing this stuff, like weight categories. And then they give you this. Some brands go up. But you know what? They can't do that because they don't like using the BMI. For instance, the BMI is works for about 99% of like everybody on the planet. It may not apply to you if you're like a different type of person. Maybe you're missing a leg. Maybe you're just a very muscled up mommy or a muscled up daddy. In those particular cases, if it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. I don't know why some people are adamant about making this like case of like, oh, the BMI doesn't apply to everybody. Nothing applies to everybody every time. Okay. It's like, it's very obvious. It's like super obvious. Not everything is everything, but it applies to most people. And it's a good guesstimate. 18. Um, but if you are able to shop in their main section, that is straight sizes. If you are at the so like sixteen, so like eight, sixteen to eighteen is is like slim sizes. Like that's like a normal size range. Really, is that true, dude? Because that. Okay, look, I don't know much about women's sizes. All I know for dudes is small, medium, and large. And that pretty much is across all spectrums of stores. You'll never, you almost never find a shirt that's small here that's a fucking massive shirt over there that's also small. That's almost never going to happen. But for women, it's most definitely like that. I've been to shops multiple times where they say, this is a size five. And then you go to another shop and it says, this is a size five. That's not a size fucking five, dude. Add in a one in front of that five, that's what that is. It's not a size five. But... I could be wrong. Somebody could let me know. Higher end of their main section. Higher than 50, higher than 16 to 18. Or the lower end of their plus size section. That is what the term midsize had originally meant. If you have to shop in the plus size section or they typically don't carry your size in store, you are plus sized. These categories. Okay, but what does plus size mean though, bro? Is it literally just anything above a size 16 to 18? Really, dude? Bro, I, 
it's just too ambiguous, dude. I just really want them to define themselves a little bit better because we're talking about midsize, which is a very particular word that we're using here. It's not just fat. It's not just plus size because these words are ambiguous, but midsize means a particular thing. I always thought midsize was like in between small and fat, but I guess it, that means that you also have to shop in the mid, sorry, the plus size section because there's no like different. There's no difference. Most shops don't even, okay, whatever, bro. ...are important when we talk about fat liberation because... The people who need the most access, the people that we need to be fighting for, are the people who are in the largest category. It's fine to say that, but you're literally talking about a percent of a percent of a percent. It's just like, it's so ridiculous to make... I'm not saying that we shouldn't be inclusive to these particular types of people, but you have to understand this, right? Most people that are shopping are in the normal sizes, okay? So like small, medium, and large. And then there are the other people that are shopping bigger. So like you said, mid-size or people that are slightly bigger. So they have to go to the plus size section and buy those particular types of clothes. When you go, forget about these people, forget about the mid-size, forget about the, th the thin people, which make up the most the most okay like 90 percent of everybody shopping you instead want to go let's focus on this like drastic like one percent one percent one percent because that's what that is if you're talking about the biggest people out of this on the spectrum you're talking about the people that are four five six seven hundred pounds the people that can't walk people that, are, that have no business shopping in general because they're on life support daily so if you want to cater to these people you can but it's a dying ship it's a it's a sinking ship because like nobody first of all there's a reason why these clothes don't sell they don't sell because these people are not in the shop buying these clothes okay so if that's the case if you're saying we should make more clothes for these people that's fine but you have to at least understand that these people are not buying these clothes these people are never leaving their house they're like perpetually inside ordering uber eats complaining about they don't have any clothes so like there's reasons why these clothes don't exist in, in stores people that, that buy these clothes don't go into stores okay and then also, it's very difficult to make these clothing items for people that are very, very high in the body fat percentage. So I understand, I get it, why you would want these like particular types of accessibility devices. But, dude, these people are anomalous, okay? These are not normal sized people. It's very difficult to cater to this demographic when they're a very slim portion of, the, of society and also a slim portion of people that are even shopping in general for clothes. We need to keep our focus on the people who have the least access to things and the most bias against So, like, them. the reason why they have the least access to things is because they make up a very slim portion of society. Usually how it works is you cater to the people that make up the majority of society. So, for instance... There's a reason why stairs exist. There's a reason why there's a reason why sidewalks exist. There's a reason why elevators exist, right? You know why? Because most people have legs. Most people can walk. Most people can go upstairs. Most, and then the most people that don't have those things that have the, the you know we have ramps, we have elevators, right? But what you're talking about is like all of those things, and then like going to the very extreme end and going. We should be catering to these people who literally can't even leave their house. Like they struggle to even take a few steps, let alone walking up a flight of stairs or, you know, walking to the to the ramp, walking up the ramp or like, you know what I'm talking about? Like these are very, very, very small portions of society. Now, don't get me wrong. You do see people walking around at 400 pounds, 500 pounds, right? They do walk around. They do this. But it's an anomalous thing, okay? And I'm not saying these people shouldn't have accessibility, but I just think that it's so disingenuous to go, we should be focusing on these people. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't have stuff, but it's like there are big issues that we have in society. And like focusing on this, that these people are succeeding upward. If you're four, five, six, seven hundred pounds, these people should be looking inward to try to make themselves more compatible for society instead of us looking at them and going, we should make society more compatible for them. You know what I'm talking about? Like that is, if you're if you're like a hundred pounds over, you're probably okay. I mean, it's not good to be that size, but like you're probably fine in the spectrum of like you can navigate society and you could buy certain clothes and you can do certain things and it'll be fine. Like you can pretty much navigate that. But once you start getting above that, dude. It starts getting really difficult, and I don't think the solution should always be the government should step in and make things more accountability. You know, we should be subsidizing certain stuff, or the society around us should be catered towards these particular demographics of people because, honestly, that's just going to encourage them to stay at the sizes that they are. So I understand what you're saying, but it's it's just really, really far-fetched, and it doesn't seem like it's centered in reality at all. Um, it is not about... <laughs> 
individual people and how they feel about themselves. This is actually a really big plus size floor. It's a plus size floor. I love Samira because she will find anything to complain about, dude. It's, it's so crazy how Samira can make entire videos, like three, four minute videos about literally nothing. Or like she'll get what she wants, but she doesn't get it in the exact way that she wants. Or this, this, is what, this is the energy I like, they knew you were but why is it in the bag? Yeah, she can never be happy, dude. Can you imagine somebody saying that? Like, oh, wow. This is actually a really big plus size section. This is a massive plus size section. But why is it in the back? Why do you, you, even when you get what you want, you can't get what you want, huh? Like, it's never enough for these people. Like, can you imagine complaining about that? Like, you actually got it, but you're just upset because it's in the back? Dude, it's it's already an anomaly to have a plus size section that you agree with. Samara is big as fuck. She literally so big that she has a song called Big Back Bitch. I'm not even joking with you, dude, either. Like, it's so crazy. Not about... <laughs> individual people and how they feel about themselves this is actually a really big plus size floor it's a plus size floor this, this is what this is the energy i like they knew you, were oh, you have a whole f <laughs> dude think about this this is a plus size floor and she's upset that's in the back i don't even understand what that even means the back of what it's a floor is it not how, how do you have a floor on the back what the fuck isn't a floor like the entire floor how do you how do you make the floor in the back that doesn't even make any sense that's like somebody is saying, like, I felt upward. Okay, whatever, bro. Whatever, man. I'm complaining about things that don't even matter, to be honest. Oh, okay, let's get oh. Princess Tiana. Princess Tiana's crazy. Who dressed these mannequins? Dude, you, even your, fr your friend said that shit was cute. It was a height. It was a height, bro. You just, you, just want something to, you just want to find some reasons to argue, bro. Your friend did say that shit was cute, and you're sitting there still saying that it's ugly? Dude. I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't be friends with this woman, dude. I just wouldn't. She's so, she's so obnoxious. She's so... Whatever. Okay, let's get oh. Princess Tiana. Princess Tiana's crazy. Who dressed these mannequins? Terrible. Is this a cold shoulder? Please, both both shoulders. Hey, your friend doesn't wear the best outfit either, but it's all right, dude. I don't like it. It's like a string bean wrapper or something. Terrible. Okay. Retire that pattern. Okay. Cute. What is this? Right here. Okay, baptism. 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 This is crazy. This is cute. With the ties in the front. Put it back. Dude, I hate it, bro. Cause like her friend's trying so hard. And then she's just like dismissing all of it. It's not even a bad looking dress. I guess it's a little Amish, but it's not bad. Like, <laughs> just find any reason to disagree, I guess. Put it back. 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 Does that say Jessica Simpson? I see Snoopy. I gotta go. Why do the plus sizes have to have words of affirmation? Did I come all the way to the federal floor just for words of affirmation? Keep pushing forward. Yeah, because you need those words of affirmation, dude. Jesus fucking Christ, man. If you didn't have those words of affirmation, you'd be in your house body slamming fucking Mickey D's and Uber Eats all day, dude. You need to have those words of aspiration, dude. You need a little bit of motivation, man. Maybe a little bit of motivation to get out your house and move some calories around. You kept pushing forward. I can only push forward one more flow because I'm on the seventh and it's only eight. Focus on the good and the good comes into focus. No, let's focus on this. Let's okay. I'm giving a plus size. I'm Dude, man. Jeez, bro. So, I love Samira, dude. Look at look at this physique. Look at look how beautiful of a woman this is, man. <sighs> She's just so amazing, dude. She can make anything. She can make a good time turn bad. She just can't ever have a good mood, man. Always got to complain. You're sick of seeing Snoopy? Bro, there's Barbie here too. What the fuck are you talking about? Barbie, there's fucking... Dude, because you're going into you're going into the celebrity section. What the fuck do you want? What the fuck do you want, dude? D you wanted clothes, there's clothes. There was a pretty diverse amount of them too. It's not just Snoopy, dude. You're focusing on literally... Like, you're, you're, you're purposely trying to find reasons to attack it. And I understand it. Like, you have to. Otherwise, you won't be able to make content. Because... They're actually doing what you want. An entire floor dedicated to plus size selections and you're still upset. You still find reasons. Your friend is literally going, oh my God, these are so cute. And you're still going, nah, 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 this is not cute. I don't like it. It's not, it's not good enough for me. It's never going to be good enough with that attitude, Samira. Then don't wear that shit, dude. You know, look, for me, I went, I went clothes shopping. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I went clothes shopping a few days ago. You can see that I'm still wearing disgusting clothes, okay? Go on my go on my, go on on my, my Instagram. I have been trying to wear things that are different. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but listen, it is very, very difficult to find clothes at my size. I was in a store. I went to multiple stores, and I'm looking for shirts in my size. I wear a size small in shirts. I found three, three shirts in small, and that was me looking hard hard dude 
It was so difficult for me to look through these clothing racks and see all the other depressed men also looking down at the same sh the same shirts, seeing that they have no patterns, they don't look good at all, but they're going to buy them because that's all we have because we got 25% of the floor that's dedicated to women's shoes, the kids section, and lingerie. We got like a 25% section that also makes up like hats, shoes, and belts for women as well. So we, we're just like perpetually depressed looking over this selection of clothes. And we all see it, and I see the clothes, and I'm looking at them, I'm going none of this fits me, nope, can't wear that shit, because that's all in large and extra large, and I'm just sitting here, skinny, a dude, you know, I'm a thinner guy, I'm always, like, been a thinner dude, and it's, like, really difficult, and I'm not complaining about it, like, it is what it is, I know that I'm an anomaly, I know I'm not normal when it comes to my clothing selection, but the way Samira is looking at it is, she's projecting outwards so heavily, all her insecurities, and she's focusing on things that don't even matter, like, I get it, it's difficult, you can't find clothes at your size, but is this really the way to do it? Like, just pointing out really just ridiculousness to try to, like, attack? What age did we just enter? <laughs> We're entering. Like, we I, I would wear this to have a skirt to go with it. We're getting, like, farther into the 1900s. I don't know, it's so cluttered. Oh, this, this, this must be last act. This is the last, very last act. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine having anything to complain about, bro? <clears throat> Literally, this woman is going an entire floor dedicated to plus size selections and you still have something to complain about i mean granted maybe the, sh the clothes but you're going to particular sections like <clears throat> this is an entire floor so i know you can find something in this floor dude and speaking from experience when you're smaller it's very difficult to find clothes so the fact that she's literally in the store and her friends trying so hard to try to find good clothes for her she still is not trying to hear it 63 to 96 please <laughs> Please don't piss me off. I'm hot. It's hot. Yeah, Can you imagine sweating off of just walking in the store for a few minutes? Is this store not like conditioned or air conditioned, bro? Isn't this a Macy's? Are you telling me a Macy's doesn't have an air conditioner? That's bullshit, bro. You, you're hot because you, you got a lot of fat on you. That's a fact, right? Can we just take a moment? <clears throat> Everybody knows. I know and you know. I know dudes in the middle of winter that would be walking around with literal basketball shorts and like north face jackets and it's like the weirdest combination i've ever seen in my life like these dudes will be walking around with timberlands basketball shorts and these north faces and they'll be like damn dog i'm hot man i'm hot the biggest dudes you ever seen in your fucking life but have the skinniest legs isn't that the weirdest combination like big like look you know rick ross huh oh the boss right rick ross he has this comp this weird combination of like very very big upper body but like big as in like he's a fat man and his legs are so small like he has no weight in his legs at all and it's such a weird thing that rick and then all you know what i saw a video today of rick ross bench pressing like 450 pounds or something like that or 500 pounds and he did it effort effortlessly this guy rick ross is a liar right like i'm not gonna hear i'm not trying to hear to diss the boss um, but it, it, it's just like it's just the cringiest shit when these celebrities think that they can fool you by li like this dude is like he's fat as fuck I know that the more you weigh you can more the more you can lift but that shit was ridiculous right but that's the real reason I've seen too many fat dudes complain about being hot at like 20 degree weather 20 degree Fahrenheit weather which is like zero degrees Celsius I believe or something like that so nah bro it's not because of that it's it's because the temperature of your body is big I'm sweating are these swimsuits yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Why is it black? Options. Why is it all black? What's wrong with what's wrong with the swimsuit being black, dude? What's up with that? What's wrong with that? Like you just complained about the Bro, you literally just complained about all the other fabrics. Like you were saying, like, get rid of this, get rid of that. Oh, I, I don't like that pattern. Get rid of the patterns, get rid of these. And that now when you come up to solid colors, you don't like that either. Get Samara. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick one, dude. Black. Everything is black and patterns. I can't. So what's the problem? What else do you want? Black or patterns? What do you want? What do you want, dude? Solid colors or patterns? Please pick one. You can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I know you want to. I know. I know. That might have been a very poor choice of words on my part. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you want this to occur. And I know you want whatever you want. But you're never going to be appeased at this point. You're literally... I can't breathe. Why? You can't breathe because... <laughs> It's just too easy sometimes, dude. You can't breathe because you're out of you're out of breath from having to walk from one section of the store to the next. I mean, let's be honest here for a second. Maybe 
the reason why you've never noticed a plus size section is because you never drifted far enough in stores to even find it because you were out of breath halfway through the store and you had to like I don't know, crawl yourself back to whatever car you're driving and drive back home. Like, that's probably what's really happening. It's not the fact that they don't have the plus size section. It's just probably you never saw it before because the, the chances of you walking that far are severely diminished. Man, I'm like three chest in this shit, bro. Am I right? Is everything flowers and black. Black and flowers. I can't do it. This is bad. This is terrible. Well, I'm glad it was a whole floor. Yeah, Definitely a lot of options. Like, kudos to Macy's. But can next time, can it be on floor two? Not past the Auntie Anne. What do you mean? Floor... And why does it matter if it's on floor two? How many floors do you have at your Macy's, dude? The one I have only has four floors. And there's, like, a bed section at the bottom. And then there's a woman section on the the first floor. And on the second, one, two... No, there's only three floors. And on that third floor, it's, like, men. But men don't really make up the whole section or whatever. But, yeah. Nah, bro. That's bullshit. Like, how can... What, you're, you're just upset because it's on the, the seventh floor? Would you have to walk up the stairs to get there? I doubt it. They they most likely have a fucking elevator or an escalator that goes up there. Am I wrong in saying that? What did you like? Why would he? Hear me out. Why is it an issue that it's on the seventh floor? Seven floors is actually kind of crazy for any retailer in general. So seven floors, an entire floor dedicated to plus size sections, and your gripe with it is it's on the seventh floor, and you would much rather like it have it on the second floor. Why? Why does it matter? Like. You're just finding reasons to complain. Just keep it a buck. Just own it. You just want to find reasons to complain. And that's okay. Some people can never be satisfied. But I just want you to own it. Stop lying like this is a big problem. And a whole floor dedicated to plus size section, your biggest gripe is that they have the clothes are too good. There's too much selection. The clothes don't match the flavor of clothes that you want to wear. You're not, you're, you can't be a piece. There's nothing we can do. Even your friend was trying to find a little, your friend was being nice about it, but you just couldn't. That's why I don't like Samira. And a whole food court and, and a Carl's ice cream, whoever Carl is. This video is for fat people. If you're not fat, I don't know. Keep scrolling and watch. I really don't care. But I was sitting here and I had a thought to myself. Like, I have been fat my whole life. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And whenever I hear somebody say I've been fat my whole life, I always think you have no idea what you look like. You are literally working under a false assumption that you are a fat person body, when in reality, you're not. You're just somebody that's been coated in layers and layers of fat for so long that you just assume this is the way that your body's supposed to be. It's not, please lose weight so you can see, at least lose weight, just to see what you look like, actually. I promise the layers and layers and layers of fat on your body are not actually the way it should be. And now, don't get me wrong, sometimes... There are people in our world that look better with a little bit more weight. Like, you ever see, like, really, really bulky guys that are just naturally kind of bigger? Like, they look a little bit better with a little bit more weight. I will agree with you on that. But that's very few people. And then also, the very few pounds we're talking about are, like, maybe 50 or 60 pounds over. Not, like, 100 or 200 pounds over. Anyway. I've never been skinny. Even when I was little and young, I was, like above the height or above the weight of somebody who's supposed to be my age a lot of crazy bro i mean the height is okay it's nothing you can do about that but usually it's it's always due to the parents not caring about their kids i don't know why it's so fashionable nowadays to have a fat kid it's not cool you're literally setting your child up for an, an entire lifetime of failure because the chances of that kid breaking out of the rules that you set in place for them when they were a kid and make no mistake about it just because you didn't tell them hey being fat is okay the the overall effect of it is that they think that being fat is okay because they grew up fat they grew up eating whatever they wanted they grew up without any restrictions so even though these parents will sit there and go oh i never incentivized it being i never incentivized my kid to be fat i never thought it was a good idea i always try to stress the the good stuff but you never said like it's not about that like you may have never said this and you may have never like vocalized this but you never said no and you never told that that your child like this was an issue and that you needed to change the diet or you needed to like actively try to help your kid lose weight you never put that stuff in place because otherwise it would have occurred because you're the only one that can make those decisions as you're the only adult you're the literally the parent you're supposed to make the decision for your kids that's just what it is unless they turn like 18 or I guess technically around 16, because like by the time you're 16, you can make most decisions yourself. But overall, yeah, before 16, dude, which are like those crucial years, you should be the one ultimately making those kids' decisions. And it's just really, really tragic and really, really big dick sucking that so many kids grow up obese and then they're going to stay obese for the rest of their life because that's just that it's very hard to break that conditioning. Like it's, it's just terrible. Blah, blah, blah. And like I've come to like, Try, at some point, I tried to convince myself that in order for me to be truly happy, I have to, like, lose weight. Babes. Boo. 
Like that is probably one of the dumbest thoughts I've ever had. Cope. It's a cope. It's a cope, dude. So you convinced yourself that the only way you could feel happy is to lose weight, and then you realize that you don't want to do that anymore. I mean, you could think whatever you want. I, 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 I it's fine, but it's also like. I want to, I, I, we're going to play the video and see why she thinks that, but I, I really want to know how for the longest time or like the majority of your life, you you thought your life would improve off of losing weight and somehow now you just, is it just because you just gave up? Out of my life. I remember thinking to myself in elementary school, elementary school, when we would have like Christmas break and we would have like three weeks off, asking myself, oh, if I don't eat this, if I don't eat this, if I work out every day, I could probably lose like 10 pounds before we go yeah. back to school. And then people... This is me, a child. A ch yeah, you shouldn't be thinking about that. Like, obviously, if you're a child, you shouldn't be thinking about how you're going to lose weight and look better when you come back from Christmas vacation. That really is tragic. The The problem oftentimes is the parents. Like, I can't stress this any more than that, which is like, if you're telling your kids, like, you need to lose weight or you're fat or this is an issue, you need to lose weight. Dude, this kid is not going to be able to properly register that information. It's, it's like, almost impossible at these ages. Like, pre-16 and even a little bit after that, the ability for you to, like, actually make good decisions or judgments or, like, really think about something are severely diminished, right? And you know this. Like, if you're somebody in your 20s and you think about how you thought about things when you were 16 or 14, dude, you were fucking stupid when you were 16 14 whatever the fuck and where you are now you're probably still stupid but the problem the, the, the point i make is you're way smarter compared to where you were uh back then and that's okay because that's everybody there are some people that are around that age that are a little bit more cognitive and a little bit less cognitive but overall these are not decisions that people should be making for themselves like i need to lose weight or i i need this and this it should be ultimately up to the parents. You should not even have to have these thoughts because you should never be in that scenario to begin with. You should be you should be 100% okay in the body that you're at when you're that size. And the problem is that you're not because you're fat. And I get it because a lot of people in school are going to say that it's a problem. And it's not really anything you could do about it. The parents should be the one that step in and adjust the diet and get you on fitness programs or whatever it is encourage good behavior i don't fucking know like this stuff is all really really good and incentivized and it should be done passively it shouldn't be done like it's either done passively or just not done at all apparently in these scenarios or they outline it or they go you're the problem you're fat which is both those both those last things are bad it should just be done passively you as an adult should recognize that these are the problems and you should be adjusting your child's diet accordingly child this obsessed with her weight, convincing herself to lose weight over Christmas break so that I can somehow think that people being pressed, impressed by my body will make me ha What? Why am I seeking validation from other people at the age of 12? Because you're surrounded by people that... <clears throat> the thing, okay, the thing is, right, when you're in school, like elementary school, middle school, high school, you're in an environment. You're in a closed-off environment. And these groups of people are probably going to stay with you for probably 10 years right from the time you're in like middle school up until high school you're going to be staying with these people for the most part and that's okay but what tends to happen is because you're in this very very small environment of groups of people you don't realize how not how how not important it is until you get out of that environment if that makes any sense like once you get once you leave high school and you realize that 90 to 98 percent of the people that you were friends with friends in high school are no longer your friends and they just live their life and they don't really care anymore and the greater population of society doesn't give a fuck about you either it's kind of freeing in a way but it's also a little jarring because it's a lot harder to make friends it's a lot harder to communicate with people because it, when you're in that small environment it almost kind of forces you to make friends it almost kind of forces you to communicate it almost kind of forces you to make these interactions but in real life you could potentially go decades of your life and maybe only talk to, really only talk to a few different people at a time. And that's really tragic, right? I know dudes that are literally working from home that spend eight hours, nine hours a day working. They spend the rest of the day eating their TV dinners or they're cooking up their Uber Eats orders. And then they spend the rest of the day on the computers playing League of Legends or whatever the fuck they're doing. And then they go to sleep and they, they rinse and repeat for years. That's what they do. And that shit is killer because I don't, I don't even want to think about what that's going to bring like 10 15 years down the line it's probably immensely difficult to like break somebody out of that mold like that's got to be so terrible for you and so many people are experiencing that stuff right now but that's the reason why a lot of people feel like they're under social pressures like for me dude 
I went to a solid black school. And when I mean solid black school, 90, I think it, maybe there was four, four white kids in the entire school, right? When I was in L when I was in middle school, I literally went into like Puerto Rican barber shops to get lineups, like double lineups sometimes, where they line it up once and then they give you the second lineup. Because I thought that's what I had to do, dude. I wasn't I was like surrounded by black people. I was surrounded by black culture. So like I obviously decided that I was gonna like, I don't know, mimic a lot of it or like try to, you know, embed myself in that. But like I didn't grow up in that particular type of culture. That I did grow up in like the hood technically, but not in that particular type of hood. But like yes, you feel pressure to adapt and what's the word I'm looking for to like be a part of this thing because that's all you have. But once you get out of that, you realize like the world is way more open than that. And then like the, 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 the situations and the experiences that you had in this environment are just that just ex situations, experiences, whatever. And once you get into the real world, you realize that nobody gives a fuck. But the point I'm making is like, if you're using this as like a, Oh, I just, I, like, I wanted to lose weight because it was a social problem. I agree. That is a problem. But like, isn't that's not an excuse to like not lose weight. You should really like. You should be looking at it from a different perspective. If you're you're looking at a perspective of the only reason I wanted to lose weight was because I was seeking seeking validation from everybody else, which is fine. A lot of people do that. But now that you're an adult and you can recognize your own potential and you can retrospectively look at that situation and compare it to now, right? Hindsight, 2020. You can then go. This was the wrong reason, but now I can lose weight for the right reason. If that makes sense. That is wild. But anyway, sitting here, I realize, yes, I've been fat my whole life, but I have not been sad my whole life. That means my fatness is not therefore equated to my happiness. I got to go back and hear that one more time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But anyway, sitting here, I realize, yes, I've been fat my whole life, but I have not been sad my whole life. That means my fatness is not therefore equated to my happiness. Uh, it's, it's just like a weird, it's a weird way she's looking at it. It's a weird, weird way. You're, you're saying that because you've been happy in your life and because you've also been fat while being happy, somehow that means that the fat obviously cannot be the problem of your sadness or you've been sad, but not sad solely because of the place that you were fat. Therefore, it can't be the fatness, which is the problem. Sure. Sure, but that's like somebody saying like I'm – that's like somebody saying like, oh, my relationship, even though it's like incredibly toxic and this person like argues with me 24-7 and always finds a problem to like argue about and this and this and this, it's obviously not the main issue. The person is not the main issue because like 10% of the time they treat me nice. That's basically what I hear from you. Like sure, it may not be 100% of the reason why this is negative. But, like that doesn't take away from the fact that this is a negative thing inherently, right? Like it's not – like, I see where you're going with this, but it's a very bad train of thought. Like, that's that's dumb. That's a very stupid way of looking at it. I've been sad my whole life. That means my fatness is not therefore equated to my happiness or my sadness. Well, actually, it could be associated with some of my sadness because I convinced myself that me being fat was the problem when really it wasn't. Yeah, that's like, that's a perfect analogy. That's like being in a very, very toxic relationship where somebody's like consistently arguing with you and gaslighting you and saying that you're terrible and disgusting and all this other stuff. But... 10% of the time, they're, like, really nice to you. And then you go, well, because 10% of the time they're really nice to me, they can't be responsible for all of my problems. So that's obviously not the issue. Like, it can't be this other person. It can't be this terrible relationship that I'm in that's, like, causing me all this distress. It's, like, it's just dumb. Like, it's, like, you can look at it like that, but it's not going to get you anywhere. It's a really regressive way of thinking about it. That's fucking stupid. There are so many ways to happiness. Skinniness does not. Oh man, dude. Yes, there are so many ways to happiness. Like crack, like crack, like like drug use, dude. There are like if that's what you want to do. Like if you want to look at it in this very very like generic way of happiness, there are plenty of ways to be happy. Like me playing a video game for 15 hours a day brings me a lot of joy, but the day after I feel like shit because I wasted so much time. Like I get it. Yes, there are different avenues of happiness, but like. You, there is very different ways of looking at this. Like, if you're deeming that the weight is not a problem and you could still be happy while you're fat, sure, that's probably true. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this fatness is most definitely negatively affecting you in ways that are most definitely mood-changing in a negative way. So, yes, you can be happy and fat, but, like, 
why the fuck would you ever like this is such a cope to try to stay in your fat but i can't believe you're even making this claim such a dumb claim too like i wish there was better i wish there was a better one it wasn't there are so many ways to happiness. Skinniness does not have to be the way to get there. It doesn't have to be, but like if it's a jarring issue to you or it's like an actual problem and it's negatively affecting you in so many ways and you're going, oh, this isn't, this doesn't have to be my outlet to become happy. Sure, it doesn't have to, but like what is the alternative? Like I guess becoming happy through the realm of like doing drugs or like is that you know is that is that what we're talking about like you have to you find something else to like mitigate it when this is the bigger issue this is the equivalent of somebody going like well you know even though my weight is like negatively affecting my health tremendously um i am actually working on my health but i'm just not working on this particular aspect of my health i'm working on this other aspect of my health like skincare and that's good skincare is important but the weight is like 90 to 95 percent of your problems and i understand that you're technically working on your health but like it seems weird that you're not focusing on the biggest issue instead of just focusing on this like five percent issue or even like two percent issue you know you are technically working on it but in a very menial way compared to this giant fucking glaring glaring issue that you have like this is what i'm seeing from this woman is like oh yeah i could be happy in other other places I don't doubt that you can't – I don't doubt that you could be happy in other places. There are plenty of people that use coping mechanisms or, like, they do certain things to make themselves happy, I'm sure. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this thing is probably negatively affecting you in a tremendous way. Negatively in the, in the sense of your happiness. It isn't. Happiness. Skinniness does not have to be the way to get there. I feel like she's just telling herself this to try, just try to convince herself. It isn't. For me, at least. I think she's. I think she's just saying this just to make herself feel better. Honestly, like this seems like monster cope. I love you. The only thing you can tell by looking at a larger person's body is the depth of your own fat phobia. True. So if you look at a very big woman, right, or a very big man, and you go, "Damn, that dude could barely walk. That dude got like a 13-inch belly button. That's fat phobic." And you know what? You're very deep fat phobia as well which actually may not even be a bad thing because you probably just don't want to be fat yourself and you're probably comparing and contrasting things about yourself compared to that person um this is a very stupid point by the way like is that it would it apply the same if like if you looked at a black guy you're like oh yeah if you look at a black guy all you're gonna if you look at a black guy all you're seeing is the depth of your racism so if you look at a black guy and go wow that guy's lips are so moist racist racist you're racist you're just racist. That's just what it is. Racism! Because you thought his lips were moist. You know nothing about their health status. Cool. Their relationship. That's a lie. That's a fucking lie, dude. That's a fucking lie, dude. I hate when they say this shit. You may not know the deeper details of the health conditions, but I can incur a lot of things about their health statuses in the same way that you can incur a lot of things about my health statuses by looking at me. And I'll give you a good example. If you saw me walking down the street, my arm was hanging off. Obviously, you can incur some you can incur some things about my health status. In the same way that if I'm walking down the street and I see a fat person huffing and puffing just by simply getting out of the car and walking down the street slightly, I can incur a little bit of things about their health status. It's it's like you can say this shit, but it's also like such a basic bitch take. It's such a not not true statement. I just don't even know why you would even say it. It's so it's so reductionary. But go off, queen. Depth of your own fat phobia. You know nothing about their health status, their relationship with food or movement. You know nothing about their morality. None of it. The only thing that you're in all, you, all you're doing right now is like you're encouraging people to be obese, dude. You're just like you're basically saying that because I don't know exactly everything about this person that I shouldn't be looking at them negatively because how can you look at them negatively if you can't know everything about them? Dude – Dude, come on, bro. That's like somebody going, even though this white guy, <laughs> even though this white guy called this black person the N-word in a very derogatory way, and he said that black people are just just disgusting and awful, I cannot assume that this guy has racist, racist tendencies because I don't know everything about him. That's basically what you're fucking saying. Like, I can't deduce through context clues that this person might have an issue. Okay. Okay. You know nothing about their morality. None of it. The only thing that you're encountering is your own anti-fat bias that's been internalized. Put it 
what a beautiful what a beautiful way to end the video um these people have a very weird way of talking bullshit dude just absolute fucking bullshit and a lot of it's completely irrelevant and a lot of it absolutely has nothing like no no reality like absolutely no reality at all you could judge somebody's health status and if it's very visual if it's a visual health status like you probably couldn't in like Maybe if somebody has cancer, you might not be able to see that, sure. But if somebody's, like, monstrously obese, yeah, I know that's wrong. I know that's not good. I know that's probably not going to be good for their health condition, right? Naturally. I know that for a fact. But um, I guess, like, morality-wise, I don't even know what you mean by that, dude. Like, d sure, I guess, maybe. I guess. Like, I don't even know. What the fuck are you even talking about at that point? But anyway, guys. We're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. By the way, I want to remind everybody now that you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching the video in its entirety. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in penny because I have a whole bunch of pennies right here. I've been using cash recently, but yeah, write down penny down below. And I will congratulate you with a big, you are amazing, because you are amazing. Wow, you smell so good, you amazing, beautiful, spiced up person. And you are spicy, really spicy. I, I probably think that when you season your food, you don't even have to, like, pull out the salt and pepper or whatever you got. Honestly, just do this. When you're seasoning your food, just go like this. The skin flakes off your hands will automatically lubricate, moisturize, and make everything more delectable on that plate because the skin fibers on you are going to make it better. And that's amazing. I love that about you. I love that you're so incredibly moisturized all the time through the process of drinking water and good skincare and understanding your hair and understanding your all of the goodness. The toenails too look really awesome. You smell really fantastic today. All this stuff is super amazing you guys are all awesome thank you anybody that's a subscriber thank you anybody that's a member you guys are awesome as well i love every single one of you if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description it's just my instagram it's my twitter it's my discord it's other things <clears throat> it's all going to be linked down below in the description of this video and or the description of the channel enjoy the rest of your day guys